Code.org's vision is that every school should teach computer science and that every child should have the opportunity to learn it. The thing we are best known for is this idea called the hour of code. We realize that it's the one thing that every school and every teacher can do is just teach one hour of computer science. And if you teach it for one hour, that's enough to set up a light bulb in people's eyes. Mather High School is a very, very diverse school. Uh, we have about 55 different languages spoken in the building. 85 to 90 percent of our students speak a second language at home. In terms of preparing students for the future, technology is really one way in which to open access for all of our students, no matter their background and where they've come from. We all know that the tech industry has a diversity problem. The, the average software engineer is a white male or Asian male. The work that Code.org does and the Hour of Code movement are very, very diverse. So this week is the Hour of Code. A whole bunch of the students here are going around and helping students code on the website. So for this one, you just have to move it straight and then tell him he has to turn left. The best way to learn something is, is to, to figure it out yourself. Technology opens the door to content in a million different ways. It actually develops the problem solving skills. In any kind of field, you need to have very good problem solving and critical thinking. When I learned the basics and I learned how to solve problems, that helped me in every single thing. Like, okay, I got the problem now. What does that affect? Who does that affect? It's actually fascinating and actually pretty fun. So like, let's say you can't Google something, you just made this and you can actually put it on the internet and become big and help other people. Tech students aren't always necessarily the jacks. They're smart, they're wonderful, they're all sorts of things, but this makes them get to be the superstar for the week. The Hour of Code, even in its first year's launch, was, I think, the first and only thing ever to go from no users to 15 million users in one week. Uh, you know, Instagram, that's like the next fastest thing. We couldn't have possibly scaled to that level of users without Amazon and AWS. Not just being on the AWS system, but having Amazon's team help us with the scaling and setting it up and being ready and on the phone to help as we hit into scaling issues. Mather High School is setting the gold standard for Chicago Public Schools. Code writing now is the other language that every student must know for the future. So when we say bilingual, code writing is that bilingual language of the 21st century. Having this small exposure and small taste to coding, really this is one way for all students to have open access to a different quality of life after high school graduation and college graduation.